What's going on guys? It's your boy Havoc here. Welcome to a much requested tutorial on the channel of how I edit my videos for YouTube. I hope you guys do enjoy. Now if you do, be sure to leave a like. If this video does hit 300 likes, I will be doing a tutorial on how to edit videos for free with a different software and also if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe for future tutorials and commentaries and such from me on a little side note we will be using the program sony vegas there actually are tutorials on youtube of how to get it for free anyway let's get straight into the tutorial i obviously have sony vegas opened up right here and the first thing that I usually do is I have a folder that has all of my files that I will need for this video. And I would definitely suggest this if you're a YouTuber, try to organize your folder so that it's faster and easier to edit your videos. The first thing that I usually put in is my intro, usually. And just click yes, and there's, there's your intro. There it is, right there. There's my intro. On a little quick side note, I do use the program Audacity, which is actually a free program, and this program basically records your voice. As you can see, it's recording my voice right now for this video, and basically you can just click the stop button, go to file, export audio, and it exports this file as an mp3. And basically I have that file right here in my folder right here, and I can just drag it either onto the same track as my intro or I can create a new track and I can just go ahead and drag it right there. Now the thing that I like about having different tracks is that you can actually lower the volume of your intro. You know, if you want to lower the volume of your intro, you can lower that without reducing this volume. However, there is a way, let's say, let's say that you want both of these on the same track and you don't want a third track. You can actually lower this volume like this way. So you can either do it this way or this way to reduce the volume or maybe make the volume higher. Also guys, I want to quickly say this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag my gameplay in here and you can obviously drag it into the same track. This is a... Uh, video track and then these two these last two are audio tracks and another helpful tip is what I do is I usually drag these corners over and it fades the the gameplay instead of the video let's say I'm, I'm gonna just show you guys let's say it just goes from here to here it's just you know quickly transitioning if you drag these corners over it's a much smoother transition watch this What's see much much smoother so obviously doing that that's a huge helpful tip I know most of you guys probably know that but um, if you guys don't definitely I would strongly suggest using that also at the end of the video you can go ahead and do that as well right there and just drag that right here and obviously my audio I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and point this out my audio is not going to be um, perfect there are gonna be spots obviously throughout here where I don't really talk so basically you can click on the track on the audio track and press S on your keyboard and that slices the file and you can do that right here you can slice the file right here. so I'm gonna go ahead and slice this part right here as well I don't know what I'm saying right here but I usually don't do this on my videos but if you click on control and then stretch this out you can actually stretch it out and it uh, basically makes your voice either really slow. Obvious. See, it makes your it makes your voice really slow, or you can make your voice really fast like this. And obviously, you can do whatever you want to. If you're... So that is definitely a helpful tip. Just control and move this around, and you can switch that up. And you can, you know, click undo to go back to the original state. I believe there there's the original state of the file. But uh, that is definitely a helpful tip, you know, if, if you want to create an effect of something going slower and you can do that with any any file. See, I can do that with with this with this file right here. I can do that right here and it makes your makes your player go slower. Right? It makes as you can see, it makes it go slower. The first thing that I like doing in my videos is I like to usually move my commentary a couple of seconds back. And obviously reduce that right there because sometimes you will hear like breathing before you actually talk or uh, I'll inhale before I talk so I usually like to reduce that time until right before I talk right there 
So basically what I like to do is I actually like to have the title of sort of the video at the beginning popping up so that it, it lets people know that this is the video that they're going to be watching. I don't know. It adds a cooler effect in my opinion. So you can just right click right here, insert video track. And the thing is, is that if I had this video track above this video track, it would be it, it would be above that video track you wouldn't see the intro like let's say that i move this up here you wouldn't see the intro as you can see you would you would only see the gameplay is, is what i'm trying to say so that's why i added a track and usually when you right click down here and you add a video track it'll add a video track at the very very top so usually if you want to put something at the top you want to do that um, so basically, I've got a file right here that I made in Photoshop, and as you can see, I've got this little file that says ignoring subs, and that's basically the title of the video. I talk about should you ignore your subscribers, and I basically talk about that. So you can edit the pan or crop, and basically what that does, and how I and how I you know got there is I right clicked and go to video edit pan slash crop. Basically what that does is you can change the size of, of, the, uh, of the image. And you can do this for any file. You can do it with the gameplay, you can do it with a text or whatnot. And you can move it around obviously, put it up to the center. That's about centered. And so basically I also want to talk about you can actually include this effect of it getting bigger as time goes on. So what you want to do is go down to this little bar right here, click maybe let's say at the end of the segment of the text. And maybe you can click back here, click the little plus button, and then once you're on here then you can you can go ahead and change the size and basically what that does if we look back here basically the text what's going on guys pops it is your boy havoc here and Thank it, you it for just tuning in it gets bigger as time goes on. On the now that's a very good effect in my opinion i love that effect so there we go we got we've got that we got our little text now i used to do this a lot and i still do it from time to time but i like to add a leave a like effect and this basically will tell people to like the video and that's awesome you know if you're saying hey if you guys enjoy be sure to leave a like so when I do have this leave a like sort of animation I want it to pop up I want people to sort of notice it I don't want it to be too noticeable but I want people to notice it so I go to view transitions and that will pop this up and I like personally I like any of these you could use any of these but I personally like the linear wipe for this one and basically you can just drag that or a certain effect into here and put it right there obviously you just drag that into here but you have to you know click the corner you have to drag the corner in there now you can drag this back and forth to make it slower or faster and there's that nice. a basketball added a little nice effect versus just going I've from that to that you know it adds Madness. better effect and then the last thing that i want to talk about is you can add some music so i actually have a lot of songs and you got to make sure these are cop uncopyrighted songs um so i have a lot of songs you know i can go ahead and put um this song down here you can just drag it onto here and obviously with a song in my personal opinion you have to lower the volume quite a bit I personally, you know, you have to like listen back to it just to see if it's good. Now the thing about audio is I find that it's really good to move the corner quite a bit. I would say maybe 15 seconds or so so that it doesn't just start the song out, you know, right then and there, but it sort of transitions the song into the whole commentary, I guess. And you can also right click, drag this copy and you can keep doing that you can keep copying it and you can do that with any file you can go up here if you want you know the gameplay to keep going on and you don't you don't have any more gameplay you can copy it right there now that's basically all of the tips that i have for you guys one last thing that i do want to talk about though however is let's go on to a random video file 
go to video edit pan slash crop and you can zoom out and the cool thing about this guys is for these files you can also rotate them so if you want this file to start out like this and then end up on its and end up upside down you can do that and you can also drag this basically this rectangle is where this is the whole entire screen so you can just drag that right there basically what that does is make this a basketball file and rotate, i actually watched basically. one of the most intense games and that I've you ever can seen. basically do that so that's the last sort of tip that i have for you guys um basically that's about it i hope this does help you out in editing your videos so obviously the final step after you edit your video and everything like that is to actually render the video so once once you have edited your video correctly and you feel like it's good obviously my video isn't ready but what you're going to do is go to file render as this will pop up and and basically what this is is it makes your file an mp4 which is a small enough file to upload to youtube you can't actually upload a sony vegas file onto youtube you have to render it first and then upload that mp4 file onto youtube just to let you guys know so this basically will tell you where it's going to render to so i prefer the desktop so it's easier to find and you can change the title so that it's easier to find and everything like that mine would be ignoring subs or something like that and then so you can save it like that uh then you click on this this is the best um for me personally when you're trying to upload on youtube best uh setting is mp4 that's what you're going to want to do there's all of these different different uh suggestions or options but you're going to want to click on mp4 and if you're uploading onto the internet you can either click on 720p it, it really just depends on how high quality you want the video to be i usually click on 1080p because that's how good my gameplay is but if you're only recording gameplay at 720 then you can just click this um, it's obviously going to take longer to render if it's 1080 rather than 720 so once you do that uh, you can click render now I also do want to say that you can actually drag these uh, yellow lines and you can basically render whatever is highlighted so if you only want to render half of the video and then upload the other half in a different video you can do that so you can click and drag these highlighted tools go to file render as and after you're done with all this uh, make sure this is clicked render loop region only and then click on the same same sort of stuff that you did before and then you can click render and that will only render the sort of highlighted areas so i'm just going to show you guys this is what it looks like so after you render once you render, this is basically what it looks like. And once it's at 100%, it will be uh, you know, on your desktop as an MP4 file, and then you can upload that onto YouTube. All right, so that wraps up the tutorial. I hope this did help you out. You know, when I started YouTube, I didn't know how to edit videos too well, and that was what I was aiming for with this tutorial, was to help each and every one of you guys, if you didn't know how to edit videos, to help you guys out and if it did uh, be sure to drop a like you know all support is greatly appreciated and I'm also on the road to 20k so if you do subscribe that would be greatly appreciated as well uh, for future tutorials and commentaries and such from me it's been your boy Havoc here and I'm out peace